Hello everyone, Brian here, coming to you on the 1st of July in our monthly epistle from the Diocesan Center, bringing you news that we hope is helpful. And I hope I have some helpful news here as well. So if you'll hang on for a second and let me make a couple announcements and then an observation. The first is to invite you to read below in the epistle and um, be introduced to um, Lisa Brooks, who is the new Diocesan Coordinator and assistant to the bishop. Um, she's beginning her first full day with us today, um, but we're excited to have her with us. And um, please read below about um, what she's bringing to our office. And next time you call in, please sh be sure to introduce yourself and um, let her get connected to all of us. The big announcement I need to share is that after consultation with the Paradise Point Committee and the Diocesan Council on last Thursday and last Saturday, We've come to the sad conclusion that we need to suspend all camp activities at Paradise Point for the rest of the summer. When we made our first decision about the youth camps back in May, we hoped, perhaps naively so, but we'd hoped that um, the local response to the pandemic would provide a safer environment and that with bringing adults to camp for women's camp and fat goose and two large family reunions and three or four weddings in August and September, that we might be able to find a way to safely do that. It's very clear to us now that the safety of our staffers, the likelihood of infections, the, the importance of being good neighbors to our friends in McCall, um, even supporting the so local St. Luke's Hospital who wrote to all the camps in April or May, um, asking us not to open it's now clear that we need to close the whole season and prepare for how we can move forward for next year. This will give a chance for, as someone told me, for a beautiful Paradise Point to take a breather, a rest. It might also give us a chance to do some deferred maintenance, those things that are usually fourth and fifth on the list that we can't quite can't get to, but could manage with a small crew or two. This is difficult. We tried all kinds of them, imagining all kinds of other small groups, but it still comes down to the safety of our staff and, and providing a quality Paradise Point experience. I would rather have us feel sad about missing camp this summer instead of having an awkward, difficult time of uh, testing and cleaning and all the rest. So I hope you can be supportive of Paradise Point's ongoing mission. Um, Executive Director Marty Beck and his staff will be in touch with you about refunds or other possibilities for your camp fees that you've already paid. And I hope you'll consider being supportive of our operations of Paradise Point, which will take um, a serious financial hit, as you can imagine. So please uh, keep our camp staff in mind. They're deeply disappointed not to be able to greet you. It's um, a very awkward thing for camp directors and camp staff to acknowledge that camp will be quiet this summer. I think this adds to, I'm clear it adds to, um, the anxiety, stress, sadness that we're all feeling about so many things going on. Where I live in Ada County, um, the County Health Department has pulled us back into stage three. All the outbreaks of uh, that came about of the reopening of businesses, we needed to step back. Two of our parishes that were having in-person worship have stepped back from that and gone back to um, worship via social media. Some parishes still haven't figured out how to worship with their large crowds. But you and I are also watching the news, seeing what's happening around the rest of the country, around Black Lives Matter and Infection rates from COVID-19 spiking, getting higher than they ever were in many parts of the country. The election cycle that's now upon us. And just the fatigue, the Zoom fatigue, the distancing fatigue, the mask wearing fatigue, all things that um, we need to pay attention to. Which means as disciples of Jesus, we also need to pay attention to how we're letting God's Holy Spirit support us. So while we we're adjusting to all these other things and deciding how we can participate in justice and 
community safety. And I do invite us to join together in taking some time, really, <laughs> um, sitting and reading scripture, using your prayer book at home, downloading it online, just spending more time, a few more minutes each day, and some reflection about God's love for us and Jesus' sacrificial redemption of us and the Holy Spirit's continuing abiding presence coming alongside us as we struggle with being Christians in this early part of the 21st century. So read below for other good information. Think of everyone who's struggling especially yourself, and take good care. God bless you. God bless us, one and all. Bye-bye.